Ladies and ladies, my name is Jack Sipka and welcome to Fallout 4! Been waiting a long time for this game! Well, not that long compared to some other games because they only announced it a couple of months back. And now it's here already, which is fantastic! I love when developers do that! So I'm looking forward to playing this, I'm not going to be doing a whole, like, full-on story let's play because, I don't know, I don't really want to do that. I, my favourite thing to do in Fallout games is to just dick around and do whatever the hell I want and blow shit up and kill things. Um, so I'm going to play the intro of the game and I'm going to create my character and get the general setup of what's going on and then we're going to go in and we're just going to move around and see what happens. I don't know what I'm going to do in this first episode but I'm really eager to do it. It's 12am, the game just unlocked on Steam so yeah let's do it, let's go. Uh, enter, confirm, yes, new game. I'm so pumped. Oh, I thought you were peeing. I thought the game was going to start with you looking into a toilet bowl and watching a flow of urine come in. War never changes. There it is! He said the thing! You think? Absolutely. Now get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right. Hey! Okay, so we have to make our character. Um, I was going to consider playing as the girl. I don't know why. I, I play all these games as guys and I wanted to play this one as a girl, but I do know that this game Oh, I can move his head around. Oh, look at me, honey. Don't I like spiffy? All I need now is like a, a, a butt chin. Okay, maybe I can make that. But apparently this game says your name. So I'm going to make this guy Jack. And it's going to be awesome. Okay, oh, sweet Jesus. No. Oh, look at that badass motherfucker. You could cut steel with that chin. Oh my God, I can just make adjustments all I want. Oh, this is going to get fun. Um, okay, except. My um, handsome husband. Oh, I can make your eyes all weird. Are you looking at me? Hi! <laughs> this is gonna be fun! <laughs> Should I give him a giant chin? He can be... <laughs> he can be... What's the cartoon that used to have a superhero with a giant chin in it? Oh, I can't remember! Oh, that's pissing me off! Okay, can we... Can, oh, we can scale it wider as well. <laughs> you could headbutt a door down with your chin! Well, a chin butt! <laughs> what kind of hair do we have? Oh god, no. Oh, this is... I, I kind of want long hair. Oh, hello! Look at that shit! The Pompadour! <laughs> I look like Johnny Cash! Oh, yes! <laughs> Wife, are you not freaking out here a little bit watching me get a massive beard all of a sudden? Oh, I look like Satan. <laughs> oh, yes, I am liking this. The whole, like, samurai kind of hair. Oh, yes, sir, Bob. Done! You can have the mirror now, Nora. Man, I don't get to choose your name. I didn't even get to choose my own name. Okay, I'm a walk- I'm a walk out. Apparently we have a son somewhere. And the son's name is Sean. <laughs> there he is! Little Sean buddy! Hey! Let's play with him! That's my name too! We're not gonna use Sean in the game, we're gonna use Jack, but still. Oh, spin. That's a devil baby. Mr. Handy! Ooh! I wonder if he can do a certain job. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing, but I'm just going around and check all my shit. I have a nice house. This is the house of the future. Oh, it's very nice looking outside. I can't wait to go out there and explore all the explosions. We really need to get those vacation photos developed. Yes, we do. Okay, cool. I can interact with loads of shit. Awesome. Can I change my clothes? I don't like the ones I have on. Oh, I can close a door. It's the best game. Where's my robot? He was in the background a minute ago. Robot dude. Maybe my- Oh, here he is! Good morning, sir. Your coffee. 173.5 oh. Thank you, Codsworth! Just is that it over there? Thank you! Thanks, Codsworth. Of course, sir. Where did that just go? Okay, where is my coffee? You said it was bro- Oh, here it is. I can drink coffee without even picking up a mug. Hey, Nora, I have a very good-looking wife, and I'm a very good-looking man myself. Look at this. Look how sexy I am. Oh, I look like I am about to chop shit in half. Can you get that? Oh, it's the door. 100% daily value of sugar. Hi, feller. Good morning. vault calling. Oh, that's, that's Paul Eiding's voice. He does the voice of Campbell in um, Metal Gear Solid. Um, good morning. Good morning. Isn't it? Just look at that sky out there. <coughs> Just look at that sky out there, sir. I to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. Oh. It's a matter of utmost urgency, I assure you. Okay. Urgency? What's so important? Why, nothing less than your entire future. If you haven't noticed, sir, 
This country has gone to heck in a handbasket. You're damn right! If you'll excuse my language. Damn foreigners. The big kaboom is... It's inevitable, I'm afraid. And coming sooner than you may think. If you catch my meaning... Now, I know you're a busy fellow, so I won't take up much of your time. Time being a... Uh, mm -hmm, a precious commodity. He knows something. I'm here today to tell you that because of your family service to our country, you have been pre-selected for entrance into the local vault. That's amazing. Vault 111. Can't wait. Awesome. Sounds great. Oh, it is. Believe you me. Now, you're already cleared for entrance in the unforeseen event of uh, total atomic annihilation. <laughs> I just need to verify some information. He knows That's something! All. He knows what's going on! Um, yes. Sure, let's do it. Splendid! Splendid. Now, uh, let's see. What? Oh, here we go! Oh, okay. Um, Jack. Are you actually gonna say my- my name? Okay, so what traits are we gonna give me? We're gonna have, uh, five strengths. Uh, five endurance. Cause you gotta go- you gotta go ham on this when you get out. Um, I'm gonna have five intelligence. A little bit of luck. Some agility. In real life, how much charisma do I have? All the charisma. And um, everything else can be three. Oh wait, I have more and more. Uh, four charisma. You know, cause I got that charm. I got the charm of the Irish in me. Okay, that should be good. We'll build up our guy as we go along. Because I want him to be able to handle himself when he gets out with his strength and endurance. Endurance is a measure of your overall physical fitness. It affects your total health and action point drain from sprinting. Yeah. And then strength, raw physical power. Because you need to fucking smash people in the face. Um, oh, wait. Oh, wait, no. That's for melee. This is for weapons. Oh, okay. So I'm going to go with lots of perception then. Because I want to be able to bash people over the head with melee weapons. But I also want to be really good with guns. Wonderful. There we go. That's everything. Uh, just gonna walk this over to the vault. Congratulations on being prepared for the future. Uh, <laughs> thanks again. He just closes the door in his face. It's mine. That's worth a little paperwork, right? For you and Sean, no price is too high. Yeah. <laughs> good answer. I'm a good husband. I have my moments. Listen, after breakfast, I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. Weather should hold up. That sounds awesome. Yeah, sounds like fun. Shit's kicking off. What's wrong? Let's go. It's nuclear fallout time. Yes, followed by flashes, blinding flashes, sounds of explosions. We're uh, trying to get confirmation. What? We seem to have lost contact with our affiliate stations. We do, oh, no. we do have, we do have coming in. That's um. Confirmed reports, I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear detonations in New York and Pennsylvania. My god. We gotta get to the vault! Oh my god. We we need to get to the vault. Now! Yes! That shit- Oh, it's so awesome looking. That shit would be terrifying in real life. If you just turn on the news, it was like, there's reports of nuclear explosions everywhere. Oh god, shit just went like- Shit just went down already. Look at the cool cars, though. It's like, nuclear fallout. Ooh, look at the cars! <laughs> okay, let's run. I'm faster than you. Last one there's rotten egg. <laughs> or dead. We're clear to get in, though, right? So, the guy, the vault tech rep who came to me to let me in isn't even allowed to get in. <laughs> we need to get in. We're on the list. Infant. Adult male, adult female. Nora! Okay, go ahead. Nora, we're clear. Let's go. Brotherhood people, thank you. Got this. Um, they're going to die, Nora, but it's fine. We're going to survive. That's all that matters, right? Me, you, and Sean. Oh, this game looks cool as well. <laughs> Fancy. Let's go, Nora. Chop, chop. Bring that baby. Almost there. We're going to be okay. I love you. That's a bad Both sign. Love we love you too. Oh my god! Whoa! Oh, that's oh awesome! Down we go! 
Oh, ho, 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 ho. Now that would be terrifying. <laughs> Mrs. Whitfield, Mr. Whitfield, um, Mr. Abel, Mrs. Abel, and Russell is just here on his own. Mr. Russell. Got it. Thanks, guys. A better future underground. Now I am the overseer. Everybody up the stairs. Come on now. Nora, bring our child. Come on. Come, there you go. Atta girl. Come on. Are these like cryopods? Why do you need these? What's going on? Just step in here and put your vault suit on. Okay. I don't trust this. Are we gonna be cryo frozen? Oh. Before we head deeper in the vault, just relax. It's a decontamination pod. Time for a whole new life. Procedure complete. What? It is a cryopod! He just said it was decontamination though! Oh, sneaksy. Sneaky little hobbitses. We're gonna be like a million years in the future now. Nora? Y you okay there? What what you doing there, buddy? Why you need a gun? He's gonna kill my wife, isn't he? Don't you touch my baby! God damn it! So they woke me up from my lovely cryo sleep. I was having a great dream about gremlins, and they woke me up just to see my wife get shot. That's great. I, that was a good dream. Ooh, I'm out. Okay, cool. Can I get you out? Come on, come on, come on. Oh God! She's dead, bro. Where did you even get shot? You got shot in the chest. Wedding ring added. Wait, I can't do anything to you? But you got shot and then you were cryogenically frozen. Technically, you'll thaw out and you'll be still in the middle of dying. Or maybe not. Probably not. That's it? I don't get to do anything? Can I not open the rest of them? Of course not. Okay, well, Nora... It was nice knowing you, I guess. <laughs> oh god, I have to punch a rad roach? Take that, you little bitch! Beat the shit out! Have you ever punched a giant cockroach with your fists? Actually, what else would you punch them with? Your teeth? <laughs> okay, there's more around, I think. Get those fists ready. Get ready for a bruising. Who's cruising for a bruising? Who's waiting for a baiting? Nobody. Okay. Good job, because I would have beat the shit out of you. Bonesy, did you see where they took my son? Tell the truth now. There ain't no talking to you. Ooh, pistol, yes, finally. Now I can start doing some damage and some stim packs. Cool. Okay, do you- Is this all that's left? Are you gonna tell me? No, okay. Wait, how do I use my vats again? <laughs> that's not it. <laughs> here we go, the old vats. Yes. How do I- Oh, here we go. Yes. Yes. And then, accept. Shmaloosh! I love the VAT system! That was one of the- Oh god, you're not dead. You're- you're not dead. You're not dead! Ah! Ugh. There we go. The VAT system was- Ow! Your fucking bastards are everywhere! Get him! Get him! Get him! Shoot him, and then shoot this motherfucker! There we go! The VAT system was one of the coolest things in Fallout 3 and New Vegas. I really liked it. Wait, was it- Yeah, it was in New Vegas. They wouldn't have removed something like that. Um... Cause it's so much fun, cause when you get really good at it, and you get super huge weapons, and you fire them in slow motion, you watch stuff explode everywhere. It's so cool. I mean, it gives it like a tactical combat feel as well. Okay, can I leave? Like, the entire vault please? Yes! Out into the wilderness we go! 
What will we see? Nobody knows! Actually, can we go back to my house? And see the shit that went down in there? Am I blind? It's not like it was fucking pitch black downstairs, it was fine. Whoa! This is all of mine. Everything the sun touches is now mine. Okay, we're gonna retrace my steps and head back home. Hopefully. Let's see if we can actually find my house again! Fucking birds. Okay, this is a very pretty game, I like it. It's not running at 60 frames per second though, so you might see some hiccups in this episode. I'll try and fix them for the later ones. Which I do- I do plan on doing a lot of videos on this game. If people enjoy it, at least. Because I, I wanted to turn into one of those things, kind of like, just run around, do random missions. I'm not going to try and spoil the story. Probably should have said that right from the outset. But I'm not going to be doing a lot of main heavy story stuff. I just want to run around and see the world and explore and kill stuff and get my character a lot stronger and pillage and do random missions. That kind of stuff. So it's going to be a lot of fun. I think this could be a really good series. Um, my house is up here to the left. I don't know what kind of character to make either. Like, if my character should be a beast. Codsworth! Wait, are you my Codsworth? Uh, Codsworth? It is! Well, how long was I down there? What happened? Codsworth. What happened to the world? Uh, well, sir. <laughs> well, besides our geranium still being the envy of Sanctuary Hills, I'm afraid things have been dreadfully dull around here. Things will be so much more exciting with you and Mrs. Bat. Oh. Where is your better half, by the by? Thank you for reminding me. They killed her. Well, <laughs> my house has certainly looked better. <laughs> yes. I mean, I know I said that I wanted to um, redecorate, but this is taking the piss. Is my son here? Imagine you came back. The child was just in the crib. <laughs> I was saying they kidnapped him. They brought him home and put him back into bed. <laughs> What's in there, Codsworth? Oh, I see them. I see them. Let's get ready. Let's get ready to kick some ass! Okay. Oh, those are not good. Is there anybody else? No, not Codsworth! I don't want to shoot him! Shoot it! You fucking missed! Ah, there's one behind me! Son of a bitch! Okay, okay, can we do this again, please? Let's try this again, shall we? Okay, Codsworth is shooting shit. You stop missing! Codsworth's a beast! What the hell is going on? So, my wife and child are still missing, found Codsworth, have a gun, out into the wild. I think I'm gonna leave this episode here, this is a good first introduction. I wanted to do the intro of the game, I didn't know whether I should do it or not, or just start, like, right from this. But I wanted to do the intro of the game so you got a feeling for what was going on, and my character, and, like, why I chose why he looks the way he does. Because he's a sexy beast! Okay, how do I get the camera to actually just, like, look around? Ah, there we go, look at him! Isn't he nice? I like him. Okay, but thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you liked it, punch that like button in the face. Like a boss, and I face all road. <laughs> thank you guys, and I will see all you dudes. We're gonna get through this. As we were running around looking for something to smash that furry rodent with, it just disappeared. So did one of our food cans. What the fucker? How could the rodent snip through a can? Everyone wants to drink something, including Mary Jane. Is there any water left? Ew, you're gross! You smelly face! Oh god!